Hey guys, it's Pucci. Uh, today in our reseller reaction video, we're going to actually try to learn something. How to identify vintage screen stars t-shirt tags for beginners thrifting tip. Now, some of you may know, not all of you may know, that you can identify the age of a t-shirt even if it doesn't have a mark on the design or a mark on the actual shirt itself of the date. Uh, just by the kind of tag that it has. So today we're going to learn about screen stars. I popped on this video a few days ago when I was researching the age of a screen stars shirt that I got and was able to learn that my shirt was between um, 1992 and 1995, I think, so an early 90s shirt. So let's get into this and see if we can learn something about t-shirts. People of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and it is super cold here in the Midwest, but we're going to still talk about vintage screen stars tags and how to date them. Let's get into it. How to date screen stars tags. Now, if you have seen our vintage Fruit of the Loom care tag video, you realize that screen stars is actually just a subsidiary of Fruit of the Loom. So up until about 1980, uh, Fruit of the Loom produced uh, blank t-shirts uh, under sort of the name Fruit of the Loom. Uh, sometimes they weren't even uh, de you know, designated a particular brand on the blank t. But in 1980, Fruit of the Loom started Screen Stars and we started seeing tags from Screen Stars. This carried... Okay, so you got that? It's like in 1980, Fruit of Loom started the Screen Stars label. So it's obviously Fruit of Loom t-shirts, but it's the Screen Stars specific offshoot brand. On until about 1992 or 93, uh, around there where Fruit of the Loom sort of took back the branding. Screen Stars was pretty much shut down by 1994 or so. And we saw Fruit of the Loom tags take over the Fruit of the Loom blank market. But this 15 year period of Screen Stars tags was super influential and some of the best graphic tees on the planet have Screen Stars tags attached to them. The 1980s was really the heyday of the graphic t-shirt. It became popular all over culture to wear t-shirts, specifically with band t-shirts, uh, with uh, video games, with your favorite TV shows. All over the world, graphic t-shirts were in, in the 1980s. This is true. When I, in 1980, I had a Mr. Bill from Saturday Night Live raglan t-shirt that I wore so much that it became, I think there was no material left on the shirt. I don't, I think I wore it through the threads and it eventually just became my body scary with Mr. Bill kind of tattooed on it, the, <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at a bunch of the tags from this era to give you a better idea and how to approximate the age of your particular t-shirt. Now while tags are some of the best ways to uh, determine the age of your particular t-shirt, you do need to remember that blank t-shirts were stocked by screen printing companies and so a t-shirt from 1983 might have been stocked and not printed on until two or three years later so it may not necessarily be the most specific way to identify it uh, but it's certain so that's why you say 90s 80s 80s 90s you know if you have a t-shirt that's from you've identified the tag from 1989 then you're gonna say you know 80s 90s right because, I mean, people who are buying, they're going to know what that means, okay? Also, um, th he basically said that Screen Stars, anything with a Screen Stars tag is vintage. Because if they stopped in 1995, I think he said, 1994, um, then anything with a Screen Stars tag is going to be vintage. You tell me in the comments below whether that's true, but he seems to know what he's talking about certainly gives you a pretty general and approximate date for your shirt. There are other ways to date t-shirts. Uh, check the eye above for a link to a video that can really help you narrow it down using other methods that might be a bit more specific if your care tag uh, doesn't really... I'm going to give him a shout out if you want to go and look up that. His uh, ID on YouTube is Loot Fam, 
L-O-O-T-F-A-M, okay? Get you as close as you want, or if you don't have a care tag at all. All right, the first tag we're gonna look at is the Proto tag. And this is the Proto Screen Stars tag uh, that was made by Fruit of the Loom. We know it's Fruit of the Loom by the RN number, which is the uh, textile uh, identification number for the uh, company that made these t-shirts. But other than that, there's almost no branding. So if you find a t-shirt like this, it's likely from the mid to late 70s. Uh, as in 1980, uh, Fruit of the Loom really started the Screen Stars brand tags. So the earliest actual Screen Stars tags from 1980 and the early 80s look like this. You can see that they have Screen Stars boxed in with actually some little stars here and there. Most of these are going to be the poly cotton blends, what are 50% uh, polyester and 50% cotton. This was incredibly popular in the 80s, uh, as most t-shirts were not uh, you know, desirable in 100% cotton. Everyone loved the new sort of feel of the poly cotton, the stretch and all that stuff. It really sculpted uh, the look of the 1980s and uh, poly cotton was really in. You can also see this tag here is called Super Screen Stars. Uh, Super Screen Stars is sort of another variation of the poly cotton t-shirts at the time. They may have had some fit differences than the normal. So what I'm seeing is if you see one and the font is completely different from the Screen Stars tags that's like the fatter uh, uh, text, the fatter um, font that they used later, it's probably going to be early 80s. Basic Screen Stars. Uh, but these are all from the very early 1980s. Now to the mid 80s, one of the Screen Stars tags sort of takes uh, prevalence. It's far more common, and it's this guy right here. This Screen Stars tag loses the box sort of logo, loses, loses the stars, and just has Screen Stars on it. This was very common in the mid 80s, and if you have a t-shirt with this on, it's most likely from that mid 80s era. So the white and off-white versions of the Screen Stars tags would dominate the mid-80s until around 1987 when the black Screen Stars best tag sort of became the dominant tag for the next three or four years. This is perhaps one of my favorite Screen Stars tags. It says Screen Stars Best. I find tons okay, of so t-shirts with... Yeah, I've seen a lot of t-shirts with this. So, <clears throat> what's your post? Are you listening? If you see a Screen Stars tag, then it's vintage, no matter what. <clears throat> if you see a black Screen Stars tag with the white lettering, it's going to be late 80s, early 90s. With this tag, it carried on from around 1987 all the way into the early 90s before being replaced. This was one of the most quintessential vintage tags that you need to be familiar with. It also came with a blue accent as well as you can see here. Now in the early 90s, Fruit of the Loom started to reduce Screen Stars sort of dominance and replaced their uh, Screen Stars line with the Fruit of the Loom branded uh, t-shirts. You can actually see this particular tag here looks very much like the Screen Stars tag we just mentioned, but it is simply just Fruit of the Loom. It became Fruit of the Loom's best. This was Fruit of the Loom sort of taking back the branding, not having a secondary subsidiary line, uh, and trying to focus the attention back on themselves. Now that doesn't mean Screen Stars was completely done. Uh, you can see these two tags from like 1993, 1994 era that uh, sort of kept the Screen Stars uh, theme going, though they did include Fruit of the Loom on the branding as well. This was about the death of the old four uh, Screen Stars uh, right here at the mid 90s and ending its 15 year run of awesomeness. So if your Screen Stars tease includes Fruit of the Loom branding, this is a mid 90s Screen Stars tee, and if it does not have any uh, Fruit of the Loom direct branding, it is likely from like 92 and earlier. Now there are other small variations of this particular tag, but generally speaking you've seen some of the major ones. If you need to see a more variations and a fantastic resource for vi Okay, so he has more resources on his YouTube, obviously. Um, that was really informative. So everything that is Screen Stars is vintage. You're just going to have to figure out uh, what decade or what era it's from. Is it early 80s, mid 80s, late 80s? Or when you list items for sale, do you just want to say 80s? I mean, kind of your call. I hope you enjoyed this. His name is Loot 
Bam! He has 11,500 subscribers, and it looks like he has pretty good information on t-shirts. I hope you learned something today. Remember, when you see those Screen Stars t-shirts, you want to follow, sell high. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you can see when we upload more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys.